Kelly Hardegree and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Pine Street Elementary School and I am District 7's Teacher of the Year. I've spent my entire teaching career in Spartanburg School District 7 and I did my student teaching in Spartanburg School District 7 and I have just, I just decided to stay, just moved in. My name is Tyler Favors Wood and I am a kindergarten through second grade self-contained teacher here at the Cleveland Academy of Leadership. I am a Converse graduate. And after student teaching, I decided to stay in District 7, and I have found my home here at Cleveland for the last three years. I was always drawn to the kids that were just super frustrated, that just decided that they couldn't do it, right? And as long as you took the time out with them, they were able to complete the assignment. It just took some time and to give them some love. Um, so I knew that Gen Ed just wasn't the, right, the route for me. I was drawn to special ed. My name is Monte Smith. I teach oral geography at the Packard Middle School. Fellow students, fellow the culture of the school, the, the co-workers, the, the administration, and I was like, um, this is what it's going to be at. I struggled with education, and then once I found a teacher to help me out, I realized how many of my friends were struggling, and so I really wanted to be able to help those who just didn't have somebody there for them. Every year, my children come to me from vastly different places. Um, I have some children who come through my classroom door and they bring with them very rich experiences on which they can build. And then I have children who come to me through the same classroom door and they lack those experiences. They do not bring the same background knowledge with them. They have not had the opportunity to scribble with a crayon or to hold a pencil. They've never been read to on the lap of a parent. And when those children, all of them come to me, they are my children. And we are going to, st we start with them where they are and we move them forward. I see that my job is to, to do whatever it takes to meet the, whole, the needs of the whole child. And what it takes to meet the needs of one child can be dramatically different from what it takes to meet the needs of another child. And that is that equity and education piece. And that is so important because when my children leave me, no matter where they started, when they leave me at the end of the school year, they are going to be readers, they are going to be writers, they're going to be mathematicians, they're going to be um, scientists, historians, they're going to be artists. And I want my children to know that I believe that they can be all those things. And I want them to believe that I want them to believe in themselves, that they know that they can be those things. And when they leave me at the end of the year, they are my kids. They will always be my kids. And, um, and I love them. I love my students because they are a surprise every day. Nothing is the same. I love their aha moments. I even love the moments where they do the wrong thing because it's always something for them to learn from, something for me to learn. I love that the Gen Ed teachers try to include my students as much as possible in their field trips and other activities that they have in their classroom, because that's the goal. We want students to self-contain, to assimilate with their Gen Ed peers, right? We want them to feel like they are normal, because they are. I love middle school. They're, uh, they're quirky, they're corny, they're funny, um, but they surprise you at how smart they really are. A lot of times, just in society, we label people and we say, well, you know, that student is, you know, is, is kind of rough, they, it's kind of hard to learn, or they're a little behind, and then out of nowhere, they, you know, they, they just, you know, you say something to them before they walk into class, and then you see a whole change in them, and then they're answering questions, and they're raising their hand, and, you know, they're, and they're, you realize that this kid really does know, you know, everything that we're doing, you know, it's just sometimes you just have to put that extra um, effort into them to do it. I feel like mentors are so important because as a new teacher, you feel like you need to know it all right then as soon as you come in your classroom and you quickly realize you don't. Every year I'm looking for a way to teach reading better. I'm looking for a way to teach writing better. I'm looking for a way to do small groups better. Um, and that is something that I think that 
that new teachers need to understand is that you don't know it all when you first come in. You're not gonna know it all the next year. You're not gonna know it all five years later. You're not gonna know it all 25 years later. Um, it is a growth process. You know, this program, the teacher to teacher program, um, it, you, I can't even say enough about how important it is. My first year teaching, anytime my administrators saw me, they said, what is it? How can I help you? Because they knew I had a question and it's okay to not know. That's what I would tell a first year teacher. It's okay to not know. And this program would allow you to be comfortable with the unknown, but also allow you to get all the answers you need. Converse prepares you for student teaching. Being in the teacher to teacher program will allow you to watch a veteran teacher at work and also to kind of think about what you would do um, when you get into that situation with your own class. You know, having a mentor is the greatest thing that you can have in your first few years of teaching. Being able to have someone to lean on, ask questions to, it's a great help. There's a lot of things that come in the first year of teaching that is new, that you did not know. Um, and to be able to lean on them um, helps you in so many different ways. There are many things that make a school district a place where you would want to work. And in Spartanburg School District 7, I believe one of the most important things is relationships. Relationships are valued in our school district. We are viewed as experts in our field. We are treated professionally. We are respected. The decisions that we make and how we run our classrooms, the educational decisions that we make for our children every day, day in, day out, those decisions are respected. I also know that if I need anything, that all I have to do is make one phone call, send one email, and I will have the full support and resources of Spartan School District 7 available to me. I would describe District 7 as a home for all. No matter where you come from, no matter what you look like, no matter what you're able to do, you will find a home here in District 7. There are boundless opportunities for growth and achievement in District 7. You won't feel as though you are stagnant. There are opportunities to expand the growth and achievement in your classroom, of doing the unknown, of doing things that are different, integrating technology, right? That's why we have TIS at every school. Oh man, District 7 feels like family. From the first day of my student teaching, it's just all kind of ways to be able to help me become a better teacher, to help me uh, help students. And so students have MacBooks, we have Promethean boards, uh, you have technology assistance. To feel like you're supported and you're backed, to be able to have co-workers that you can relate to, to be diverse, I guarantee that you're going to feel at home and you're going to be feeling welcome. What else could you possibly want from a school district than to be respected and valued and supported? In the end, you will grow, you'll feel comfortable, and you'll feel loved.